So for solving those clinical based questions as well as image based questions, you should be well versed with the clinical presentation of common dermatosis. So in that series, today I will discuss you a case of acne vulgaris. Let's discuss a case of acne vulgaris. This is a 25 year old male who presented to me with these lesions over the face. So here you can see that you have a erythematous tapeule. Tapeule means a solid raised lesion of less than 0.5 or less than 1 centimeter. Along with this, you can see here there is a black dot. This is called as a black hat or open comb dot. And here, if you notice, you have multiple white heads or open comedons. Sorry, closed comedons. Now, what are these comedons? Whenever you have hypercornification of follicular opening, this will give rise to comedons. If the opening has little bit of exposure to the outside environment, it will lead to weak black heads. That is because of oxidation of the comedone to the external environment. And if it is covered, it is white in color, which is called as cold comedones. The first very, very important point that is presence of comedones. Now, please remember, whenever you see a comedone, you should always say that it is acne vulgaris. But it doesn't mean that if the comedones are absent, it is not acne. So, please remember this. Now, second important point is presence of ciboria. Now, can you see the glistening shiny surface over the skin? This is because of excess of sebum secretion. And this is one of the cause of acne development. Now, the second thing which is important is what is the content of sebum? So, please remember, sebum is made up of cholesterol esters, squalene, which are very, very important. And it also consists of some of the free cholesterols. Let's discuss a little bit about the progression of acne lesions. As I told you, First of all, in the pathogenesis of acne, you will have hyperconification of follicular openings. So, can you see because of the hyperconification, you have either open comedones or you have closed comedones. Now, because of accumulation of sebum inside the follicular opening or inside the follicle, there is excess of proliferation of propionic bacterial acne, which will lead to recruitment of inflammatory mediators. And this will give rise to erythematous raised lesions, which is called as FP. Now, if the patient has not taken any treatment at this particular point of time, this will convert into a pustular form followed by nodular form. Surface with the help of alcohol swab. This will remove the excess of ciboria which is present over the face. Now, for extraction of an open comedone, you have to stretch the skin like this with the help of non-dependent hand. And with the help of comedone extractor, you have to press the lesion and remove it. So, if you can see, there is removal of the comedone. For the removal of the closed comedone, you have to puncture the comedone with the help of a sterile needle. So, like this, we we'll make a puncture, small puncture into the epidermis. And then, with the help of comedon extractor, we will remove the comedons. So, if you can see that material is coming out very easily. Like that, you have to make a puncture over all the lesions and then you have to remove it. Sometimes what happens because of excessive inflammation or even said because of deeper inflammation, the acne leaves behind scarring. Now there are three types of scarrings, ice pick scar, box scar and rolling scar. So, can you see the small pointed scars, the spin point scars? These are called as ice pick scars. 
The next is this perpendicular or a box shape is called as box card, and this is called as the rolling card. So you might be seeing this on your screen that what are the three different types of scars? Two of acne vulgaris. Now here you can see that over the face there are multiple lesions. You can see a pustule, you can see papular eruptions, and you can see closed comedones. So please remember, acne it is a polymorphic condition which presents with more than one type of lesion at one particular point of time. So here the closed comedones, which is also called as whitehead. The erythematous solid raised lesions of less than 0.5 cm that is perfume, and there is presence of pustule. Now, can you see here there is little bit of exfoliation? Now, this is because of the use of topical irregulating agents like tretinoin as a therapy purpose. Now, this patient is also on oral isotretinoin, which is a therapeutic drug for the treatment of acne. And the most common side effect of tretinoin or the oral isotretinoin is dryness of skin. So, you can notice the dryness of skin here. You can notice the so here also you can see there are dryness of skin, small flakes which are coming out. So this is because of the use of topical as well as oral isotretinoin as well as topical tretinoin, which causes dryness as the most common side effect. And along with that, you can see that there are multiple papular eruptions with few of the closed comedones which are present here and there. So now we are clear that acne lesions are polymorphous which means that at one particular point of time, there are multiple lesions which are present in the patients. So as we have discussed that what are the common presentations of acne? We have discussed that acne has a polymorphic presentation, which means that at one point of time, the patient will have multiple lesions. He will have comedones, which is the pathognomic lesion. It will then go into papular phase, then pustular phase, and if even at that particular phase, the patient has not taken any treatment, it will go to nodular phase. And this nodular phase will convert into multiple graining sinuses which will heal this scar.